Hello world and welcome back. I am Karhu the Great Bear of the North and this is Planet Zoo. We are currently on the Karhu Express on route to overlooking the wonderful work very much in progress but I'm very much loving it. American Bison and Pronghorn Habitat. I have done so much rock work and still there is so much more to be done. It's actually kind of annoying how much rock work I need to do. It's also kind of annoying that every time I drop out of the train, I go back there. But this is what we're working with now. I think this gives you a much better indicator of what my vision was. Whoops. Than, than before. I think this is a much better indication. Imagine this style of rock work, not obviously with the, with the waterfall, but all the way around here, all the way around here, and then up. So that everything you see from here is this red rock work. And I've done a lot of updates on this part of the plaza, which, again, I'm pleased with. But what I'm not pleased with is this section right here. Animal has escaped. Let's call the vet. A koala has escaped. How? Please tell me how this koala has somehow escaped Planet Zoo. Tell me how this koala has escaped. What part of this looks like they've escaped? I do not understand. My only, my only thing that the only thing that I can think of is if they're climbing this tree. Technically part of this tree is outside of the habitat. So maybe if they're climbing up on that little area, it counts. I don't know, but they're not, they're not escaped. Don't, don't give me that. But I mean, I'll still do the emergency capture, but that's not, anyways, blah. But this, this part, this section right here, this little gift shop information stand in the underwater viewing. I don't, I don't like this. This bothers me. So I think this is what we're going to work on today. And rather than do a timed, uh, 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 a speed build, rather than do a time lapse, I figure we can actually just do this one in real time so I can explain what some of my design decisions are. Gals. And that means we're not going to get as much accomplished today as I usually do. And that's okay. But you will be seeing this actual design process. Do we want the glass panel? Well, that is a big panel. 12 by 12. Hmm. Maybe we do. Maybe we do. No, I don't think we do. 12 by 12 is too big. You guys can actually see the design process and how I go about it. And so what I'm thinking is this building is like an annex to this other large building. We're going to have some brickwork, but it's, I also want it to tie and kind of blend into this. So what I'm actually going to do is let's get a... Oh, no, that's in the facilities menu. It's this. I was thinking we can do a giant projection screen right on this wall and build and actually like yeah i do not like these controls sometimes do a giant projection screen like this and we can move it around in such a way so that it basically covers everything and it can kind of act as a backdrop to everything that we've got right i want it to be like flush with the wall and that we can create a giant um maybe not this high what we can do is we can then put a landscape on this and then basically have that be a giant backdrop almost like it's painted onto the brick i don't know if this is going to work out my Photoshop skills are not that great, as you can see by some of my thumbnails. But this does seem to work quite well. We can actually bring that out just to cover, just to cover the uh, 
protruding railing there. And if we do that, and then this, and we use these two combined, and this is going to be a lot of finicking work going in and out of the program. Let's just make sure that these two are lined up very properly. Just comme ça. La -ba. Oh. Oh, we have a slight seam. We have a slight seam, so let's try to get rid of that. Come on. This is how finicky some of this, especially like with the rock work. In order to try to get rid of all of the seams. There we go. Oh! While I'm here, while I'm here, let's celebrate the three sponsors of the North American Otter. We've got Queen Gabby, Hadamaru, and Jay Martin. Thank you very much, the three of you, for sponsoring this. Um, the Otters definitely need your, your, your love and support. So let's see if we can't get like a backdrop on this. And then if we build this in two layers, like this front section is going to be a little bit higher than the back and we plant trees along the back, it will look like there are trees in the distance. At least that's what I'm thinking. And then the front can kind of tie in with, with this. So what was this style? This is horizontal wooden plank wall. So let's, let's get some large, but I don't, do we have wooden plank panels? We don't have panels. All of the wooden planks are based on grids. Oh, this would make a nice fence, but everything is this is based on the grids. So we're going to have to be very creative with how we do some of this. Like, for example, I don't think we can cover this entire this entire entranceway. So we're going to have to change this. So some, this entrance is going to have to go, and we're going to have to go with a, um, not a six meter wide, a four meter wide entrance. We're also going to have to get rid of this. Uh, yep. And this. There we go. That's the four meter entrance. Yeah, let's just get rid of this part. And nope, because it's still going to be the issue there. Okay. Back to aligning to the grid. And... Sometimes this grid work is really upsetting and I'm not too worried about this clipping through simply because um, we're going to put some, we're going to put some rock work there. Yeah, we're going to have rock work in the building like the outdoors are coming indoors. And that's how we're going to do that. But this connects into, is that the right way? Or if we connect in through here, is that? Oh boy, this is sometimes a little bit frustrating, getting things done exactly the way you want. Okay, I think we're going to go in like this. And then with the construction, we're going to get, there we go. This is the right angle, because I do, no pun intended, I do want the corner to be, there we go. I do want the corner to be lined up with with the entrance i want i want it to to look like um like i want the it to be based on the, the like a 45 degree angle chop i don't know what the proper terminology for that is but that's what that's what i want so let's do this we will fix this a little bit later i'm just looking for the for the angle all the way down and looks like this angle is pretty darn good looks like that angle is pretty darn good and then we get a double door down here. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And then this going into the side. Uh-oh. We're going to have to do some very careful finagling with this. Um, I wish they had more panel pieces that actually looked good because what we're going to have to do is something like this and make sure that that isn't sticking through the wall. Good, it's not sticking through the wall. So then we have that and can we can we add to this build with something like this? Or is that oh, it's just the wrong the wrong angle. So we're going to have to redo this again. That's okay. 
And I'm just gonna get things lined up here. And this is all of the different like little finagling and issues that we have to do just in order to build something that looks good in Planet Zoo. Okay, so this, oops, we're actually too high to see what's poking through. That would be poking through, this is not. Good, good. This is the layout of, of, of our building. And flat faces like this are, are annoying, are really, really annoying. So let's build this up just a little bit. And let's see if we can get like a little curved area out here that that kind of works. So actually, yeah, we're going to go back into this building. Change the grid size and the grid head. I wish that we didn't have to change it each time, but let's build. This is the, the right row. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to build this out here. And I want to see if we can't get a little bit of a path that goes out here to like stand on the rock. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just like, just that looking out. And then if we, nope, this doesn't wanna work. Maybe if we turned off, nope. Nope, it's intersecting the terrain. Okay, then maybe we don't. Maybe we get something like, this and then it's like a step up will this work no okay we'll figure that out later we'll figure that out later there's too much finagling for this kind of a, a thing actually just just one more can we align to the grid it's obstructed oh by the water nope it's not obstructed by the water what's it obstructed by what's it obstructed by interesting Okay. Anyways, I'll figure that out off camera. I'll figure out what I need to do. But let's continue with the construction like this. And this, so anytime that you see somebody that has like this really good, really beautiful build with like lots of little intricate pieces, just know that that took days. That took absolute days. And I'm not saying that you need to like I'm not saying anything about how you need to react to something based on how long it took, but just appreciate that. Um, just appreciate it, I guess is what I'm saying, because I certainly do. I'm certain I certainly do. I take a look at somebody like um, Delay Designer or Silverette or somebody like that, and and I see what they can that what they're able to accomplish, and I'm just like, this looks this looks amazing, but and then I try to do it. And I'm just not there, but it's because it takes, it just takes time. It just takes time. So if you are playing this game at home, do not, do not worry if your abilities are not quite, are not, are not the same as what you see on YouTube, because my abilities are not what you see on YouTube. As this particular example shows, this is a lot of frustration and trial and error of things like this. Um, but I'm thinking if we do a glass panel instead, glass pane four by four, and we got, whoops, and we got that up there. Uh, that's V, there we go. And then we, and then we built around like this because these do not necessarily need to be on grid, right? So we'll go like this to maintain the height and then we'll just rotate around and then bring that back in there. I think that's lined up. I think that's lined up. Yep, there we go. And boom, is that boom? That looks boom to me. And then we'll just boom that out into here. There we go. I think this is the better way to do it. And I'm not liking how that double pane of glass is. So we will change this into 
we'll slide that over into a vertical two. There we go. That should be okay. And this will also become a vertical two. And we'll just work on it like this. And that way we can kind of balance out the middle pieces, but that is where the, this just tells us where the, the pillars need to go. Right covering that gap and that gap. There we go. And then if we place this properly, this, this, and this, we will duplicate this, rotate that around, boom, 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 boom. And that should be the right angle for that, maybe. If we're lucky. And rarely ever am I lucky with things like this the first time. But, hey, these are how these things work. Okay, I just wanna make sure that is the right height. Yep, that is the right height. And these gaps we will cover with pillars and things like this. Is that the right angle? No, I don't think it is. I think this, nope, that's also not the right angle. Okay, so we're gonna have to turn off angle snap and we're just gonna have to get it to, cause like it goes right to the edge here, right? So like this, yep, this looks like the right angle. Or at least close enough that I'm not bothered by it. There we go. There we go. Now people can go in here and they can look out over, over the otters and whatever ends up being out here. I haven't even decided what's going to go out there yet. Actually, no, I have decided. I just haven't told anybody yet. And that's okay. That is okay. I don't need to tell anybody. It's, it's my video. It's my stream. I don't need to tell anybody if I don't want to. There we go. And why are these different heights? Oh, right, because the rock work is a little bit lower. That's okay, that's okay. We'll put we'll put a, a barrier up there. So we've got this, we'll put like a window in here, which means we also need, I do want this to be somewhat symmetrical. So this is a four and then this is a three meter gap and then a four. So this is gonna be the four and then this is going to be the three meter gap and then there's the four. But we do have some Z some Z fighting over here, which I do not like. I do not like the Z fighting, but there's not much we can do about that unless we want to change our plans, which I don't particularly want to. So we're just going to have this slide right up in there. That's too far forward. Boom. And we'll do the same thing over here. There we go. So we've got several different designs, several different ways to look out. So these guys can look right out the front. They can see this, that's beautiful. We definitely have a color scheme already. Um, plank wall, plank whack, plank wall. Let's keep this color scheme. Let's, all right, yes, we need to add it to this group in order for this to for this to line up. What is that? Oh, that works wonky on the outside. So maybe you, you will have to have a little extension over here, but we will figure that out later. And then this will just go here. We will have to do kind of a panel like that there. Yep, there we go, that works. We get another one of those there, another one there. Oh, nope. These are different groups, apparently. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Let's add it to this. What is going on? There we go. You go in there, you go in there. And now how do we bridge these gaps? Because this is going to be, they're actually on different fronts. Okay. Okay. This is a little bit uh, of a complication. And by a little bit of a complication, I mean quite a bit of a complication. Not something I was anticipating. 
But if we do this, that will get most of it. That will get most of it. And then we'll have to do some creative paneling in order to, to deal with that. And this is too wide to get between that. Hmm. So again, some creative paneling. In fact, I don't like that. That looked ugly. Let's get some creative paneling here as well. And then this area is going to be like a, um, is going to be a little, uh, we're going to get some counters and maybe get a little bit of, uh, some merchandise right there. At least that's the hope. But I've never built a building with so many different internal parts. So we will see how this goes. There we go. We definitely need to, br to brick off this. So let's select it, add to this. There we go. And where's the door? Here's the door. There we go. This will sort of somewhat work. And then let's get the plank floor in there. Although I'm thinking the plank floor might be a little bit overkill on, on the whole design aesthetic. But, um, oh, and this doesn't even line up with the door. Okay, so you are going to have to move. I'm going to add you to this group instead. And you don't want to go there. Why don't you want to go there? Is it, the, is it the path? Is it the path? Oh my goodness. This is, this is fun. This is, this is fun sometimes. Like I just want it to, to slide in there. Actually, you know what? You're just going to be your own group. You're just going to go to the right height and then you're going to go in there. Nope, you can't go in there because why? Oh, it's probably the, the path below. Yeah, it's probably the path below it. It's too low for the path below. That's okay. We'll just put that door right in there for the staff room. Good. Another path. Good, this will work. This will work. Oh, staff roster. Do not forget the staff roster. Work zones. This is Otter Overlook Gift Shop. They do have the one staff room. Oh, do they, the staff room does still count. Wonderful. So, well, it occurs to me actually now that the, the that we need to, to move this because it was conflicting with, with that. So I'm thinking what I actually should have done is rather than had all these fronts at different levels, because I think all of the fronts are actually at the same level. I think they're all built. Nope. I think they're all built together. So we're going to add it to this. And is this the right? Yep. OK, that is the right. So it's just these parts. We're going to move that, add it to this group, and that should line up perfectly, actually. Come on. Maybe if we rotated it this way. What is going on? Select group, add it to this group. Nope. Okay. What is going on? <sighs> the life. Nope. Wrong button. I did not want to take a screenshot. I wanted to take. Oh, yeah. I just I just want a door. I just want this to line up and, and look good. Why doesn't it line up and look good? Why is everything so complicated? Yes, okay, good. Yes, this is the front that I wanted it on. Good. Okay. We build like this. And now we build like this. And that little gap can can do nothing. That little gap can do nothing. I don't care anymore about that little gap. Good. Now we need to do something creative with this. But I don't know what that creative thing is going to be just yet. But we do have this. And let's go back to glass. Because I like the idea that there are like glass sliding doors. But they're just currently propped open. 
That's two by one, that's four by two. Good, so we're going to do this. Oops. Or do we have, so one, time, one times 0 0.05. Ah, yes, good, we'll do it this way. This will join in into the wall like this. And it's these little details, I think, that that really matter, at least to me. So we're just gonna have that glass right there. Is that is that the middle? Nope, it's not the middle. That is approximately the middle. Good, and now we just go up like this. I wish that we didn't have the seams going through, but that's okay. Oops. Let's just verticalize this. Yikes. Yeah, this is what I do whenever I'm building the rocks. I just do this for hours on end, usually listening to some kind of Scandinavian power metal, which is, that's what I do. But there we go. So we've got like a glass door that's like partially open. It's not perfect, but it is, it's good enough for me. And sometimes these these moving widgets are just difficult. There we go. There we go. Last door. 12 meters by six meters. That is a large, large panel. There we go. So let's get a roof on this thing, just so I can show you kind of what I mean. Uh, plank wall. Let's again get the same. No, we do not want this group. We want to add it to this group, I believe. Yes. Whoops. Nope. There we go. We want it to go like this. And then we're just going to cover this entire back part. But this back part is going to be slightly lower and filled with mulch so that we can build basically a, um, we can make it look from over here that this is just off into the distance, right? But we're also going to get, um, I want some, like a, a, a not a, it's, it's a clerestory. The word is a clerestory, which is like the glass modern wall, but not that big. Yeah, it's gonna be this, built all along here so that they can actually see, actually, we might need that to be a little bit higher. Like maybe one meter higher. We're gonna need to do something like this plank wall for one meter. There we go. Actually, can we sink this down even slightly? Yeah, let's do, no, let's do this. Because then once we build the clerestory, light will come in and then people in here, they can look at the window behind them and then they can see this giant, you know, fake mountain area behind them. So let's do that. And then we'll build the clerestory over top of that. I think that's, I think that's what we do and it will it will let in some light but not too much um because obviously we're not going to get direct sun rays in through this because we want this to be bright and lit well i mean you don't have light wood paneling like this and not have it lit you know legitimately but you also don't want too much light because then it just becomes a greenhouse in here so we're going to add to this and then we're going to have two different levels of clerestory hmm let's find out maybe that works maybe it doesn't no it doesn't at least not quite like that what if we do that and then that and then this does this get doubled up oh it's just can't quite double up hmm so how do we do that?
I think we just end up doing two like this. And then the rest is just going to be this, this plank wall. But again, added back to this side. Because the group in this has like several different. There we go. And these are lined up, I believe. Yes. Are they? Nope. We're going to have to add it to a new building. Because like each side of this building apparently has a different. Has a different um, building group. There we go. And that's a bit much. So we're going to have to do something like this. Like that. For now. For now. So we go in. We've got this paneling. Good. Now let's get the full roof on this. Um, what? I want to see what style is this. This piece. Base game, New World. So, New World. Let's see what other pieces kind of go with this. This modern curved roof, which does echo this, which is what we want. So let's select it to this. Yes, yes, this is, this is a good thing. This is a good thing. We can have like a canopy over this front entrance area. I do not like the glass. I wish it didn't have the glass all the way around. We've got some steel beams, which I would really like to use. So I think maybe we just use this shop canopy instead. I think we just ended up using the shop canopy instead. Which just goes, come on, come on. Like that. Yep. Yeah, we'll do it like that. That's fine with me. New World Sculpture Bison. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can put leaves on here. That's cool. That's cool. We've got signs, doors. I'm just trying to think like what else, a wooden frame? Maybe, but no. Yeah, we got the plushies. Um, okay, so let's go with the actual architectural pieces. New world architectural pieces. Um, let's put these again over here. See if we like this. Boom and boom. Oh, those should just, it should just line up. Why doesn't it add to this group? Why doesn't it just line up? I don't know. Whatever. That's the way it is. And we've got these shop canopies. Oh, that's just a glass thing over top. Girder painted. Yes. Oh, these girders are lovely. We are definitely going to get a girder. Or do we? Does that work with the wood? I think it does. I think just a beautiful girder, just like right across. Actually, not right there. It's going to have to be. It's going to have to be right. It's going to have to be right here. Just going right across. There we go. And then we'll just pop. Those are diagonals. These are the beams. Oh, yeah, it's horizontal. Why is that rotated 90 degrees from its own self? Uh, there we go. There, I think that will work. No, I don't want the plank wall. I want this. Beam me up, Scotty. There we go. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing onto this side. 
there we go and there we go two nice beams i like the beams it adds a little bit of, of structure in fact i should probably add some beams in here to to support this roof yeah i'm gonna do that there we go so we've got this let's get the majority of the ceiling in through here and we're again going to have some we are also going to have some um some skylights in here oh the clerestory needs to go above that so you know what let's just let's just add it to this particular group so that it should be lined up there we go that is lined up is that what we want or is that too shallow hmm i think this is what we want i think this is what we want because we don't want too much window but we do want to see we do want to see the foliage on the other side does that work yes i think that works beautifully Whoops. One, two, three. And we'll figure out the exact specifics later on, but this is just the rough detailing. The rough, like not even the detailing. This is just the rough, 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 rough work. And then we're going to need to fill in these. Come on. Like that. Yeah, we're gonna get some Z fighting up here, but that's okay. Actually, we didn't. We didn't get any Z fighting. Interesting. And then that works. We're now going to need to figure out how this works. Because we want to add it to this group. No, you know what? This is just gonna have to be an independent piece. So this is going to have to be a completely independent piece. And is this the right height for everything else? No, it is not. That is, oops, it was the right height. There we go. And is that good? That is on top. And now we're just going to have to angle it and put it above here. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, Karhu. It's just wood paneling. But is that lined up? I think it is. No, nope, it's not quite lined up. But we will do this, and then we'll just move this, and we'll move the entire, we'll move the entire thing but again, it is lined up at the top. Boom. Boom. And now we just need to line the two up on the sides. I think this is good. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. Sometimes the, the movement isn't quite where you want it to be like it's just too much or not enough but this will be sufficient we do have okay we do have this which we're going to need to worry about but other than that i think we're okay i'm going to duplicate that we're going to exit from this i'm going to get the height again And then there we go. That is good enough for government work. It does still need to be above the glass though. Does that work? 
I might need to get some fine deep, some fine tuning done if it's not quite. You know what? I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna need to fix that Z fighting. Um, I think we're just gonna have to put plants on one side and a screen on the other. But that's okay, because we're also gonna have to do something like that here. You know what? We're just gonna have to forget that as well. Let's do this. There we go. And no idea what we're going to do in terms of these. Because I don't want there to be... Actually, you know what? The roof patterns is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I'm happy with the roof patterns, actually. Let's see what it looks like inside. Other than the Z fighting, it looks fine. So, let's just do that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That was a good, that was a good lineup from the beginning. There we go. This isn't quite as well lined up, but that's okay. We will get here. And there to avoid the Z fighting. You know what? We do we do have that slight we do have the slight ridge, but I'm okay with that. We could actually turn that into like some kind of a ceiling pattern. But there we go. Actually, we I've realized that this entire beam is not actually at the ceiling. So we're going to have to raise this up. And let's bring that out right there. Um, oh boy. Because it currently coincides just with that protrusion. I think I know what we can do. We can do a, another beam on the other side. Like a, a, a vertical post. And that should be able to do that. There we go. But while, it, like, I still got this corner to do and, and, and fiddle with, but you guys get the general premise of how this entire structure is going to work, right? And then we'll do, like, some rock work over here so that when they go underneath, it's good. But we're almost, you know, this is already going over time. Mulch is in nature. But then let's, is two by two too big? No, two by two is perfect. Oops. Control X, there we go. Just slide that over there. Slide that over there. Actually, can we can we slide all of this over slightly? Oh yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a second layer. That's okay. And actually, let's make sure it doesn't stick through. Oh, it does. It does, but you know what? We can do that once we have everything lined up. We'll fiddle with the entire mulch thing. There we go. And this is how we build a large building like this. Um, and I think for the inside, that's gonna have to take another episode because we are very over time already, which is fine with me, but I know, I don't know if you guys, how much you guys want to watch me just randomly place mulch and talk about what I'm doing. But I figured with a building like this, um, having a little bit of a, you know, this is the 10th episode so having a little bit of uh, an, an, an insight into my mindset whenever I'm designing something might be... I don't know if you guys might want that. But there we go. So we've got this. And once we add some trees... Let me get rid of this. No, we're going to change it to continent North America. Actually, no. I'm just going to do biome all temperate. And we also have some taiga in there. We're going to do North America, Europe, and Asia. And we're going to go for the trees specifically. 
because I want to, to show you what this is going to look like before I, whoops, F, V. I want everything lined up with this, right? Like nothing is going to encroach through here, but from here, it looks like, I think it will look cool. I've got that black poplar. Let's get a beech, okay, a beech tree has far too large roots. Oh no, it's just far too big. So no beech trees, no cherry blossom trees. Common ash. Okay, good. The ashes are appear to be pretty solid, and they do have a fairly flat back. So we can put them in there without sticking through. And okay, so we have the common ash. We've also got the black poplar. I think we're definitely gonna use this this poplar as well. And want to make sure we're not sticking through. There we go. Actually, how did the mulch work out? The mulch. Oh, it kind of sticks through. Oh, it actually sticks through quite a bit right here. But I mean, sticking through over here, that's fine because we're going to fill those up with with a uh, little bit of a gap thing, anyways. So let's do that. It doesn't really matter if only three pieces are slightly higher than the rest because nobody's going to be looking up there, anyways. Right? So when you're looking through here, you just see trees and then behind you, you'll see this, this vista. I think this works. I think this works. So we've got those trees. We've got, actually does the beach, does this beach? Oh yeah, this beach tree works. Just not the big beach tree. Yeah, no, those are too big. Um, although that black poplar will work. So let's just get some foliage in here. There we go. And then let's, because we don't need to worry so much about bushes back here. Let's just get some really, oh, let's get, let's get a nice elm. Can we get the elm in without it sticking through? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think we got the elm. Actually, that elm looks a bit big, not gonna lie. That elm tree is also big. Okay, so let's just get this, just for a difference in, in, in color, a difference in texture. Um, cause you never want to rely on just one or two elements. And the great thing with the staff room and whatever being back here is that you can bury them a little bit. And even if they stick through the staff room, I don't care. Okay. I do care about this, but I will fix the little details off camera. Let's get a holly tree because I do like the, um, the, what is the, are those berries? I do like the fruit on the holly tree. Actually, that might be a bit low, but we'll figure that out later. Giant red cedar. No festive spruce. No, let's go for another, let's go for a different shaped holly tree. Oh, that's just a tiny little holly tree. Let's get a holly tree in here. There we go. Just four. And let's get something. Yeah, let's get a uh, quaking aspens are I think too tall. But something like a sugar maple will be nice color in here. There we go. I will just get some sugar maple in there. And then, so when you're, when you're in the building, you look up and you just see the foliage and barks and bark. So you might need, we might need some bushes. We might need some bushes, but from everywhere else, let's get the, I love the hawthorns. I love the hawthorns quite a bit. Come on, come on hawthorns. There we go. So let's get some hawthorns down here. Cause I love the color of the hawthorns. So when you're down, here you see the color. There we go. Um, and let's get a hawthorn here. So that when you're on this side, you don't see that as much. Um, and let's get another hawthorn in around here. And let's get some white sage, which again, I just love the color of. And let's get, let's get a white sage there. And there change the height of your plants every so often. 
just in order to to change the um it's almost like the plant skyline i know that's not a thing at least i don't think that's a thing but um hydrangeas no um we don't want some fountain bamboos maybe some bramble No, that's a bit too thick. Arrowwood? Yeah, let's get some arrowwood. Just to flesh that out from below. Although you're not even seeing it because of the because of this lip that's here. They don't even see the mulch. They don't even see the mulch. They just see the foliage. So let's get a bush just in here, just to play with some some arrowwood. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to raise these up. But. Yeah, we don't even see the arrow wood from down there. So we're going to have to move it to like this. There we go. Yeah, so when you're inside, you look like you've got this forest behind you, like you're sunken into this hill. Um, but when you're back here. And you're looking at this you see this vista and i mean yeah you see the tower but i mean from here it looks like it goes back a lot further than it does which hopefully hopefully and i'm crossing my fingers my toes and my eyes when i say this hopefully this will this will be kind of a um a neat effect and i'm wondering if what we do here is something that we've been doing in the Pueblo station and dropping it down to create like a little step. No, that creates way too much fighting. It creates way too much fighting. So let's just do, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Just to, just to, actually, do we even want to do that? I don't think we do. I think we leave it like this. Yeah. And then we need that same piece. We'll do the same thing over here, even though this side doesn't have. Oops. Nope. You know what? Let's 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 just do this. Plank wall. Let's just do this the easy way. We'll add to this side. No, oh, we're gonna have to rearrange some of the roofing. And some of this, unfortunately. Because it do just doesn't quite line up. So. That appears to be the right vertical height for it. But what is the right? No, that's the right vertical height for it. But we want it to be there. Actually, no. We know that we need to extend a little bit out this way anyways. So that's not too much of an issue. Yeah, this Z fighting is annoying me. But from the inside, this looks pretty cool. I think this looks pretty cool. We've got the clerestory over here. Yeah, we're gonna need to... Don't know how I'm gonna fix the ceiling. Actually, no, I do know how I'm gonna fix the ceiling. It's just not something I'm looking forward to doing. Um, 399. No, which there we go. That's group three nine nine, and then we'll we'll get it here. There we go. But then also one like this, and then we're just gonna have to delete or move this. No, I want you to go back to the other group. There we go. Why is it okay? There we go. We're going to move you. There we go. You're still at the right height. We're going to move you back that way. We're going to duplicate you and put one of you here. Ew. <laughs> uh, I know what we can do. We can simply move them, leave them from this group, drop them down just ever so slightly, and then just slide them back in here and that should 
that should eliminate most of that. There we go. We'll just get that lined up as much as we can. There we go. And then we do that one more time. Come on. Duplicate. Duplicate. There we go. And then we want to... What is... Duplicate. There we go. Actually, no. You know what? Construction. Go in this way. Let's just go with this. Add to 399. That will get it lined up. Is that the right height? No, it is not. But at least we know that this is the right angle. So if that is just... That should eliminate all the fighting from that. There. And that's how that works. We have the roof. We have this. And this is this is the the you know, this is the structure of our of our thing. And what we can do is in order to just make this more of a continuity thing, we can bring in this bush. And this is down here. That's far too large of an arrowhead. But let's an arrow wood. So let's get some arrowwood down here. Because building continuity with your foliage is definitely part of how to make something feel more feel more alive, feel more real. So if we take these bushes, put them down there. And you know what? We're even going to bring one of those across to this side as well. Just in case we don't already have one on this side, we're going to get one over there. There we go. And good. Let's get one of these, a hawthorn bush, just for a little bit of color right there. Yep, that works for me. Or actually, no, it doesn't. I know where we're going to put it. We're going to instead put it. Come on, hawthorn bush. There we go. We're going to put it right here. And then this sugar maple, you're going to turn into a bush and put that right, or a shorter tree, and put that right there. And then we're going to get a birch. We're going to get one of the white birches, not the Himalayan birch, the white birch. And then we're going to get that as a tree right there that will then frame both this this little scene right here and also encourage these people to look out this way instead of looking out this way which i think is very effective but the but this is too much it's 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 too much through so we might i mean if we built some shelving units or something like that over on that side we might be able to do that okay but I think this is actually better. And there's an otter that's escaping, I guess. There we go. So we do that. And one final thing. Let us build a construction sign. And let us just build a general art shape, which is what I like to build these with. Let's build hard edged shapes. Actually, these are flat shapes. And let's get a planet zoo. Use it. Oh, no, no, I don't want to kiss the square. We want to... Nope, it's a little big. So let's go the rectangle. No, nah, that's a bit much. There we go, but we will rotate it. Let's rotate it like that. Let's get it just like this. So it should be centered on the wood. I believe it is. Wonderful. We'll drop that in just a bit. And we will obviously change the color. What I want to do is I want to start tying in the colors of the of the Pueblo area, which is just over side on the other side of those. So I want to actually no, I want this to be change my mind. I want this to be the Karhuzu colors. This is the the color of my entire channel. This is the color of my zoo. And let's get Boogaloo. 
Boogaloo. Oops. Boogaloo. B O G. Boogaloo. G. Let's get a large G. I. Okay, we're gonna. Oops. Yes, we're gonna keep that. Control X. There we go. Change it to an I. F. Oops, that's not the big one. I think these are way too big. Yeah. So let's change this back to the G. 3D font Boogaloo G. There we go. We will do. And I don't mind if these ones stick out. It's almost like that's part of, you know, part of the design. G I F gift shop. There we go. And then we drop this one down and we go for the S H O. P, whoops, not OP, P, and these all need to be slid over because that P is a little bit too far off. Gift shop, there we go. And then we turn this into some signs and let's see what signs are in here. These are wall signs, these are for shops. We also have information, but let's not put that there. What did we have in here? We had We had a hat's fantastic and loony balloons. So let's get balloons. That's a bit big. That's even bigger. That's too big. Let's get a just a memento. Oh, that's maybe, maybe we get them. We, we just line them up here in terms of what's yeah, let's do that. Gift shop hats. Fantastic. That still looks, that's way too big. Actually, we can put the hat on the sign. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And we're actually gonna make that hat at a jaunty, saucy angle. Whoop. There we go. Like the, like the sign is wearing the hat. I'm okay with that. Gift shop with the hat. Love it. And that's fantastic, just balloons. What's the other one? Oh, and just a memento. So it's the balloons. Um, maybe we'll get the balloons on the other side. And why did this only have one? But these are far too high. So let's slide those down so they're actually covering there we go. And this has been pretty much a one hour build. I know it's probably not the fastest build in human history, but uh, we've got the bare bones of a, you know, of a, of, of a gift shop, which I'm liking this. I think it's a good transition between the two. It's just a gift shop. I think this is a good transition between um, the two areas because we get more foliage up there which is good once I finish in the background over here and once I get the rock work down here this will all blend in very nicely because you turn the corner and it's like you're immediately boom in like northern Ontario or central Ontario just kind of what we are going for so that is the gift shop you know what, let's, this is, this is starting to bother me already. There we go. Just make sure that the tree skyline looks like what we want it to. Yeah, it does. Because we want some gaps so that people can see the imagery behind it. Um, 
and then inside we can see this and yes there's a lot of details i still need to do i still need to do some trim work i still need to do um you know quite a bit but uh i'm liking how this looks i'm liking the concept and this actually is what we call in theater I, th I believe this is called a drop stage i haven't built one of these in a very long time but yeah it's like this so if somebody needs to like die or fall off the back of the stage they just go Poof! and then there's a stage for them right there but that's it we've had one hour to celebrate our 10th episode slightly more than an hour but that is okay i decided to double up about halfway through and this is good because now we have a a gift shop or at least this the bones of gift shop but i'm carhu the great bear of the north thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please like please subscribe and definitely please comment let me know what you think about this particular design i'm actually going to can i'm going to continue with the Curved slopes, curb on ground path, railing on ground queue, railing on ground path. There we go. Nope. Railing on elevated, because this is elevated. There we go. Now let's hope that the, oh, we get two little bits. That's okay, we can fix that. But I'm Carter the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like, we see, please like, please subscribe, please comment, um, and have a wonderful day. I do mean that. Um, we now have the, the, the otter overlook. There we go. And I'm pleased with this. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you all next time in Karuzu, Toronto. Bye.